ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel welcome if you are new please consider subscribing uh, in today's video we are picking up two cars I'm leaving the lot right now and we are heading to Mannheim I purchased a lifted Nissan Frontier and a nice little diesel Jetta I did inspect both vehicles so both of them are run and drive I do not anticipate any issues with one or the other so we are heading to Mannheim see you guys there I made it to a desk up but it is it's always kind of windy and uh, I don't know how much you guys will hear but the other thing I wanted to say is I haven't been posting very regularly or not as regularly as I used to and I wanted to apologize for that um, as the business is growing the responsibilities are increasing and since this is still more or less a one-man team my time seems like is almost very limited like the more cars I have the more emails the more customers the more time goes you know selling stuff and kind of doing that aspect of the business but I'm still here I'm doing a video now uh, and I will continue to do so but sometimes it will be a little bit delayed which for that I'm sorry we're trying to find my Jetta but this is the Nissan Frontier that I got doesn't it look pretty awesome this one does have a salvage title though but look at it it's lifted tired up has some LED pods a skid plate a nice crawler style bumper the only thing is it's a salvage title just minor cleanup I think this is a navigation screen I don't remember but it's an aftermarket unit unit it's four by four bed liner I think this is just for one of those like plastic or rubber covers Hey, train and even an aftermarket bumper in the rear oh snap look at that sticker <laughs> and tires look to be in pretty darn decent shape but we're grabbing the Jetta first so let's go try to find it Man, that's a lot of trains that's two four six trains actually I do this very often when I pick up multiple vehicles I can jump in the Nissan and go look for the Jetta so we're not putting miles on our shoes so we're gonna jump in the Nissan and go find the Jetta that way should be a little bit easier alrighty where's my key you park randomly somewhere until the paper goes through yep so I gotta make sure that we still got no lights oh there we go so we're good and 102 basically 0.5 miles is really really good for a rig like this and I think I paid like 60 do you remember how much I paid for this thing I don't even know you bought it oh under seven grand and I think cheapest one with no lift no nothing but a clean title is this at like 11 12 grand with similar miles so I'm thinking I should be able to get closer to 10 for it but we're gonna resume we're gonna make circles until we find this darn Jetta a few moments later well I don't think that took very long I think we found it yeah this is mine oh yeah this one will definitely need to go through the detail he just noticed the sticker that I just showed you guys a minute ago so let's get this Jetta started oh it's a push button so we're gonna leave this thing here pull out the Jetta and then we'll come back for this I mean honestly it looks pretty darn good I'm excited for it I'm actually kind of tempted to take that thing off-roading not like rock climbing or something crazy but some kind of off-roading let me know if you guys want a video of that maybe I'll do it you can tell that that's Spanish I know uh piquito espanol sistema oh there we go language found it oops there we go i do know a little bit of spanish sweet well i got the language changed address i just want the map sweet we got a little navigation screen let's head back to the lot soon 
after. It's like, man, why is this rattling? I like, put my hand here and it stops and then it opens and voila! Whoa! I mean, not every uh, Volkswagen comes with uh, sunglasses with every purchase. But this one sure did. There it is. It made it with no issues. So the tires are nearly new. I don't know if you guys will see that. Uh, what brand are they? Probably some weird off brand. Just do a little walk around for you guys. I mean, it's pretty nice, you know? Wheels are kind of beat up, but tires are like literally brand new. I don't know if the car or if the camera will kind of show you guys. 111,000 miles. I bought it from Western Buick Kia GMC. Oregon largest pre-owned inventory. I don't know about that. Seems like doo-doo. Uh, so really doo-doo um, quality tint job here on the rear also. And then the rear bumper has a few scuffs. And honestly, I think that's, that's about it when it comes to imperfections. Interior is nearly flawless. Uh, let's see what we have in the trunk. Where did I put the key? Just trying to see. I didn't really hear the rattling. But if I could figure out where it's coming from. Yeah, so this car will need a full, full detail inside and out. Looks like we have a sub back here, factory sub. And this car does have the option stereo system. I don't remember what it's called if I look at it. Fender, there we go, Fender audio system. So as far as I know, it is fully, fully loaded. Miles aren't that bad for diesel. I will check, uh, I mean, it's so hard to check diesel oil because after what, 500 miles or so, it's gonna be black, black. So I think regardless, I'll just do an oil change, you know, with a clear peace of mind uh, that it goes to the next owner with fresh oil. Um, I enjoy doing it. I'll probably make a video of it. And I don't pay that much for oil changes. So Andre is joining the business a little bit more seriously, correct? Correct, Amundo? Yes. Yes. So he's around. And we saw Alex coming back to the lot. He's getting us tacos. So we're gonna see Alex shortly. And I think after we eat, I actually have a buyer in an hour and then another buyer in an hour after that. So hour back-to-back -back type of deal for different cars. So we're probably gonna hang out here and then pick up the Nissan Frontier after. But I guess while we're here, I will give you guys an update on uh, basically what's going on at the lot. Uh, so we have a buyer for this car coming out and had another gentleman come look at it. Absolutely loved it. He wants to do a pre-purchase inspection. So he's working on that. Uh, this one might be sold today. Kind of weird story with that one. Uh, had two guys come out look at it. I told him for six and a half cash I'll sell it. And he goes, well, I only have 5000 Well, I can't sell it to you for 5000 uh, And then two days later, he basically found another 1000 somewhere. So today he showed up. Looked at it again, decided he wants to buy it, but I was like, I told you six and a half, not six. So, told them I'll put the other $500 on a credit card. We start doing paperwork, but, you know, the cash portion first before we sign anything. And he doesn't have a credit card. And he's like, well, I don't want to go back home. Like, that's too much work to go get my credit card. And I'm like, dude, do you want the car or do you not want the car? So, from my interaction with him, a very... Very sketchy buyer, almost like, I mean, he just wanted everything for free. He wanted a trip permit for free as much as he could. And I feel like it was all of those excuses to like, oh, well, I'm here, just sell it to me for six grand instead of 6,500. Oh, I forgot my credit card. I don't know, just something seemed super, super fishy and just way off about the dude. But hopefully this one is gonna be sold. It's been really good. My wife actually took it to Seattle uh, last weekend. So I probably put, you know, between myself, family, probably 1,500 miles on this car. Runs really, really well. It's actually the newest car I have on the lot right now. This little Jetta is going to go to Copart, unfortunately. Uh, you know, the transmission is no good. Sucks because everything else is great. You know, tire tread, I mean, those are fantastic tires. Um, and overall condition is really good, but it is just, for the money that I'm in it, it's not worth fixing the transmission because a used transmission well you can't find them with like 140k miles they're all closer to 200,000 miles and even those are like eight nine hundred bucks which plus another thousand bucks for labor that's an additional two grand and what I'll sell it for four pretty much what I'm gonna be in it 
and then you know it's gonna have a transmission with almost 200,000 miles on it like I'll have to disclose that I, I can't just oh yeah it, you know I can't let a buyer believe that the transmission is original and only has 144,000 miles and at that point it's just it's too much work even if I take a little loss on it now through Copar through IA whatever auction I take it to I'm okay with that but just get rid of it and move on this Cayenne came out of Seattle yesterday day before yesterday has a salvage title um, very very minor damage to the rear right there if you guys well uh, whatever I'm here I'll show you guys so there you go don't be afraid of salvage title because that's all it took but this car is super filthy super dirty so it's gonna go get detailed have a buyer for this one Nissan leaves I have a few people reaching out about those so we'll see um, when I'll sell them but Nice little cars, and then of course this Jetta. All the other cars I have are kind of all over the place here and there, um, but this is all I have on the lot. Pretty much sold everything within the last two weeks or most of everything I had. Um, yeah, this is pretty much what's left and everything, but I think two cars plus now the Volkswagen are listed for sale. Uh, Frontier should be a fairly easy one. Hopefully that one sells quickly and we're continuing to grow we're continuing to i guess expand learn make youtube videos and move on in life a few minutes later there's alex favorite stealer shit Woo! <laughs> look at that I don't... A little longer than a few minutes later. Man, the, the food was the food was delicious. Thank you, Alex, for feeding us. Um, it's probably been an hour, maybe two hours since the last clip. Showed the Subaru to a buyer. Showed the Mustang. Uh, the Mustang guy wants to buy it, but I have someone else coming out at three to look at the Mustang. If this guy doesn't buy it, the other one will probably buy it tomorrow. And then as I was telling you guys about the Nissan Sentra, I just got off the phone. Uh, Nissan Sentra is going to be sold today. The guy is on his way back. He'll be here in an hour, maybe a little bit less than an hour, and that one is gone. And then I think with, with everything back and forth, we're going to go back to Mannheim and pick up the Nissan Frontier. Here's the latest update. The Sentra is sold. The gentleman is in the car. He'll be leaving shortly. And we're waiting for another buyer who is running way, way, way behind. But see guys, this is what I mean. I've been spending so much time in the office and just, you know, kind of like working with clients because I have a lot more cars now. And sitting in the office making YouTube videos isn't, I mean, it's not really exciting. There's nothing really special to show you guys. So yeah. Tell you what guys. I meet so many people in this business, it's insane. Um, but day at the lot is over. I am now heading to Mannheim and we're gonna pick up that Nissan Frontier. All right, we are back at Mannheim. This is the final stop for today. Andre did well and parked it like right by the darn exit. And that's the rig I'm taking home. Andre, do we have a dealer plate? No, we should have it. Yeah, it should be in the in the Mercedes that we came on um, So yeah, we're gonna pull this in out move some stuff over Hopefully it makes it home with no issues. I don't see it having any issues, but we'll find out shortly There it is. It is out in the wild no longer bound to the auction Let's make sure all headlights work not that it's really important, but I have to figure out how to get those LED pods to work. But man, honestly, this is like such a cool Baja style rig. I really like it. I like it a lot. And it has a backup camera aftermarket, of course. Navigation, which is not turned on because Andre's trying to connect his phone to it. But we're gonna move uh, some of our stuff over and hit the road. Well guys, uh, first impressions, very rough very stiff suspension, very unchiseled, unrefined. <laughs> it's a lot different going into this from a Mercedes. 
but mechanically it seems like it's running very well we got heat through the vents no funny sounds i mean i could hear the tires but that's very common on lifted trucks with oversized tires it seems like mechanically i mean we chugging along update number two listen oh, that wasn't that bad but i feel like it has an aftermarket muffler exhaust something of that sound i feel like man i'm too old too tired to listen to that and it's almost like hitting you at the back of your head it's slightly uncomfortable so that's the first thing that i personally uh don't like very much but i feel like people my age don't really drive these cars so guys either we have our first issue or i don't know but we're not really going over 60 miles per hour or maybe it was uphill and it's it's just it's struggling or something i don't know i i floored it at one point and it, it didn't climb either we're in a weird gear or i don't know but this might be this might be an adventure stay tuned i guess because i think we definitely have an issue i'm literally flooring it right now and it's not going over 1500 rpm i'm still flooring it foot to the metal the chances are that the gearing was programmed for like rock climbing or something because I mean it goes through four gears with absolutely no issues and RPMs could go higher it's just at higher speeds it doesn't want to go anywhere like watch we'll stop I'm starting to think uh, that this kind of behavior is normal because it's oversized tires, it's lifted, but I think the oversized tires, this transmission, um, I think is just not geared for them. So someone did a lift kit, put tires on it, but transmission I'm assuming is original. So. As of right now, I think this is normal operation. If it is not, please drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know. I am down to learn. And if you guys can teach me a thing or two, please do. Because at lower speeds, like up to 40 miles per hour, it's zippy. And then it just kind of loses speed. So yeah, like noticeably I lose power after 40 and then we just struggle. But I mean, city driving, it seems like it's totally fine. So I should be able to make it home, climbing, steady but climbing. And that was about 30, 40% throttle. So it definitely uh, is looking like the gearing on the final gear is just super, super, super long and almost like a highway gear more than anything. Well guys, it made it. I mean, it runs pretty darn great. Aside from the, you know, higher gearing, lower gearing, I don't know what the proper term is for it. But aside from that, like it shifts through gears as expected. It just has like no power on the top end. Um, but it looks really good. It looks really cool. Everything works as far as I know. Um, and Oh, how much would you guys pay for this retail like if you were in the market for one of these how much would you pay for it several days later well guys i thought the video was going to be over and here we are uh, it's been a few days since i picked up the nissan and the volkswagen the volkswagen i took through uh detail the following day 
and then I took it through DQ the day after that and I got it listed for sale yesterday and four hours later that car was gone that might be actually my quickest flip um, first person came outside they loved it and I don't have the Jetta anymore now the Nissan that's in front of me also went through detail I did not take it through DQ but it runs perfectly fine which you guys saw when I was giving it gas I was flooring in there was absolutely no power I still can't explain that I don't know what happened but I have done freeway speeds I have taken it up to 85 miles per hour it runs really well so there's absolutely no issues I have no idea what happened maybe the fact that it was sitting at the auction for a while I can't explain it but it runs perfectly fine now um, I just took it through a car wash I'm gonna take pictures of this thing and another one is gonna get listed and hopefully be sold as quickly as the Jetta was sold guys with that being said thank you so much for watching thank you for joining this journey if you're not subscribed to the channel please make sure you do there's so many more cars to purchase so many more videos to make for you guys and as always, I will see you guys in another video.